Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Fink. I'm a medical oncologist at Summer Cancer Center at uh, New Hanover Regional Medical Center in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, radiation therapy for lung cancer is a, is a very important part of the treatment of, uh, of lung cancer. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the majority of patients who are diagnosed with lung cancer uh, cannot have their lung cancers removed. Uh, perhaps only 25% who come in actually have a localized lung cancer and then the surgeon can be removed. Unfortunately, for the other 75%, their disease is a, a bit too advanced, but it may, be, uh, it may be that the tumor is still confined to the lung. Um, in that case, uh, the radiation therapist is often called, called on to try to eradicate the, the, the lung cancer. Radiation therapy is a, is a great innovation. It's, uh, it's been around for, for many decades. Um, and it's, uh, what, what, it, what it is is that uh, it's the same as X-ray energy. We use X-rays to, to take an X-ray of a person and see through their body. Radiation energy, when, when, uh, when concentrated, can actually be used to destroy cancer cells. Cancer cells are, are, are dividing and they need uh, DNA a duplication and, and doubling uh, to, uh, to do that and to survive. And radiation energy uh, will go right into uh, such a cell, a, a cancer cell that's trying to divide and, and will destroy it. It'll destroy it by, uh, by attacking the, uh, the DNA and by, by killing the cancer. Radiation, radiation therapy is very effective at doing this. Um, in lung cancer in particular, it's the standard treatment for a patient with stage three lung cancer, meaning a patient whose cancer is, uh, is confined to the confined to the lung but is in, has involved the lymph nodes and the, and the surgeon can't remove it. We'll come in and have the radiation therapist uh, treat that patient, usually combined with some chemotherapy, uh, makes the outcomes even better. Radiation therapy is pretty simple to administer. Patients are usually, uh, li usually lie down on a particular table, much like an x-ray table, um, and their particular uh, area or site of a tumor is, is isolated, and the radiation energy is delivered by, from a painless uh, electrical source uh, uh, right, in the, right in the doctor's office. Uh, the whole procedure uh, for, per treatment takes about a minute or so. Um, a person has to come back usually on a daily basis uh, to get the radiation therapy, sometimes twice a day for certain kinds of cancer. For example, small cell lung cancer, a particular uh, a, a rare kind of lung cancer is often treated with twice a day uh, radiation. Uh, what, what happens there is the, uh, the second dose of radiation is actually more toxic to the cancer cells but less toxic to the, to the normal surrounding tissues. So radiation therapy is a very important uh, part of the treatment of lung cancer. A general course of it takes about four or five weeks in a row. So a person does have to uh, set aside a little time each day, but usually after each treatment that person can, can go right back to, uh, to work or whatever they have to do that day and, uh, and, have, a, and have a normal day. Towards the end of radiation therapy, a person can develop uh, some side effects. They tend to get a little problem with their esophagus. They can have a little trouble swallowing, a little what we call esophagitis or radiation esophagitis. Um, other problems can occur. They can get a little bit of scarring or, or, or fibrous tissue or inflammatory tissue in the area that's being, that's being radiated. That can be usually easily treated with some, some steroids or some anti-inflammatory drugs. And patients generally recover pretty, pretty fully from, uh, from treatment with radiation. It doesn't result in any hair loss or any other uh, significant toxicities that you'd expect with chemotherapy. So radiation therapy, again, a very important aspect of lung cancer therapy and usually one of, uh, and, and potentially even curable. We may even see as many as 20 or 25 percent of patients with stage 3 lung cancer still alive and cancer-free five years later, thanks to the beneficial effects of radiation.